Welcome all. In this video, I am going to discuss about the topic flaws, which is included in the module 3 of Basics of Civil Engineering. Floor is a level surface capable of supporting the occupants, furniture and equipment of the building. It divides the building into different levels for the purpose of creating more accommodation. Based on the position of floor, it can be classified into three types. Basement floor, ground floor and upper floors. Basement floors is just below the ground level and ground floor is just above ground surface. So they may directly rest on ground or may be supported little distance above the ground level. Then last one upper floors, they lies above the ground floor levels. So based on the position they can be named as first floor, second floor etc. A floor consists of two components that are subfloor and floor coverings. Subfloor is a structural component which support floor coverings. And floor coverings are constructed over subfloor and it provides hard, clean, smooth and durable surface to the floor. Now let's discuss type of flooring. First category is mud flooring. This flooring is cheap and easy to construct and maintain. It has good thermal insulation property. The construction of mud flooring is as follows. Over a well prepared ground, 25 cm thick moist earth is spread. Then it is rammed well to get a thickness of 15 cm. In order to prevent cracks, we can add chopped straw or cow dung. Next type. Muram flooring. Muram is a form of disintegrated rock with any binding materials. To construct such a floor, 15 cm thick layer of muram is laid over a prepared subgrid. Over it, 2.5 cm thick layer of powder muram is spread. After that, water is sprinkled over it, then the surface is rammed well. After rammed, surface is saturated with water. Then the surface is well compacted under the feet of workman till the cream of muram rises to the top. At last, surface is leveled and allowed to dry. Next type is brick flooring. It is used in cheap construction, especially where good bricks are easily available. This is mainly used in warehouses, stores, godowns, etc. The preparation of brick flooring is as follows. Over a well prepared subgrid, 10 to 15 cm thick layer of lean cement or lime cement concrete is spread. This form the base course over which bricks are laid on a 12 mm thick mortar and all the joints are filled with mortar. Next type, flagstone flooring. Flagstone is a sandstone available in 2 to 4 cm thickness and in the shape of square or rectangular size. Its preparation is as follows. Subsoil is properly compacted or rich. 10 to 15 cm thick lime or lean cement concrete is laid. This is a base course or which flagstones are laid over 20 to 25 mm thick layer of bed mortar. While laying slabs, work is started from two diagonally opposite corners and brought up from both the sides. Next type is cement concrete flooring. This is commonly used for residential, commercial and industrial buildings. It is moderately cheap and durable and easy to construct. This type of floor consists of two components that are base concrete and wearing surface. They are constructed either monolithically or non-monolithically. If they are constructed monolithically, there is a good bond between two components which results in small overall thickness. The prepared surface is cured for a period of 7 to 14 days. Next type, terrace of flooring. It is a very decorative flooring and have good wearing properties. But it is more expensive. It is widely used in residential buildings, hospitals, offices, etc. It is a specially prepared concrete surface which contains cement and marble chips in a proportion 1 is to 2.
Next type, marble flooring. It is a superior type of flooring used in bathroom, kitchens of residential building, hospitals, temples, etc. It provides extra cleanliness. The base concrete is prepared in the same manner as that of concrete floor. Over this base concrete, 12 mm thick mortar is spread and the marble is spread over it. Next type, wooden flooring. It is used for carpentry halls, dancing halls and auditoriums. They are not commonly used in residential building because of high cost. They mainly used in hilly areas where timber is readily available and where temperature drops very low. One of the major problem in timber flooring is the damp prevention. Next type, glass flooring. It is a special purpose flooring and it is used where it is desired to transmit the light from upper floors to lower floor and to admit the light at the basement floor from upper floors. The structural glass is available in the form of a tiles in thickness varying from 12 to 30 mm. Glass flooring is very costly and it is not commonly used. Last one, rubber flooring. It consists of a sheets or tiles of rubber in variety of patterns and colors and thickness varying from 3 to 10 mm. These sheets or tiles are fixed to the concrete base or wood by means of appropriate adhesives. They are costly and used in only offices and public buildings.